Hello, people on the internet. It's me. Eh. And guess what? Well, today, well, not today, technically, it's kind of a few days early, but in a few days, it'll be the anniversary of my channel starting, which is cool. Yay. Like, but let's see. It's been about, yeah, a year. Why, why it uh, takes some time to think about that. It's been about a year since I started my channel up, uh, around 22 subscribers and I know that's not a lot but it means hey 22 people like the crap I post enough in order to hit subscribe and sometime and see what I do with it's just a nice feeling but uh I have, have a whole different idea for what to do for or my little in between stuff but like for the intro I thought you know let's just take a little peek at one of my first videos, like the very first video, and geez, I can already eat small the cringe from here. I, I kind of pretty much hated myself through this entire phase. <laughs> Dang, some of this stuff. This this was eight months ago. How is this eight months ago? Oh, oh geez. It, it feels weird coming back and seeing all this. Oh man, I hated, my, I hated this video, but I'm also proud of myself that I got me an A on that project for Mrs. Pollock. <laughs> I, I just remembered so much freaking cringe of this face. I, I hated it, but yep, mistakes might have been made. But I don't know. I'm surprised some of these got a, a decent amount of views, and here's this video. Um, I probably, yeah, I made this 11 months ago, almost 12. Hello, random people of the oh, internet. Oh, jeez, you can you can hear right there. Well, I yeah, February twenty fourth, twenty eighteen. It's about to be February twenty fourth, twenty nineteen. We just need uh, about three days. What well, more like a day, two days, and a third of a day. But yeah, let let's take a little listen here at how I used to sound. I am. I'm a random person who likes to draw and and whose channel miraculously started posting videos and high noise in the background and uh yeah jeez wow Fr fridge and jeez uh do I still sound like that do I do I okay let listen to this I've been wanting to uh, kickstart my channel for a long while actually I. I don't know how long I've had that. You, you can just hear or whatever game my dad's playing in the background. Uh, wow. I, I'm glad this is not how my videos look anymore. I mean, they still look like crap, just not this brand of crap. <laughs> at it, but probably like five years and no video. Somehow, five subscribers. Somehow. I don't know. Yes, and yes, it is awkward. Please, please help okay, me. Don't cut. worry. The future helps you, sort of. Hello, You're, random you'll get there eventually. But, yeah. I I don't recommend going and watching this. <laughs> but, yeah. One year anniversary of my channel. And this feels weird. I've been doing this for a year. My type perception is broken, kind of. And I also feel like I've grown from this, but also not, but that's because it doesn't feel like I've been doing this for a year, but Fridge, I've been doing this for a year. Huh, about, about a year ago, me, him, me and my future boy, a friend, and another friend of ours, we, we were all playing Minecraft, and I was like, hey, I want to start a YouTube channel real soon. And they were like, oh, okay, that, that could be nice. And here we are today, about 22 subscribers later, and, uh, yeah. If there, there's one of the front. Ah, fridge this kid. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, my my time perception is kind of definitely blown. I I don't I don't fridge. <laughs> I don't stutter like this anymore, do I? Okay, thinking about it, I do sometimes, but yeah. Um, I have learned. Uh, well, not necessarily learned, but I've evolved whatever a lot through this whole one year of YouTube already. And, you know what? Why don't we talk about that? 
So yeah, I believe that in my relatively small YouTube career, I, I have learned a lot already. And I believe that what all I've done so far has helped me to grow, not not only in channel size, even though that's not that much, but it's all right. It, it's also helped me to grow in other ways. It's helped my art grow. That's one main thing. Doing a YouTube channel has motivated me to get better at art. I mean, art is the main focus of my channel, so it wouldn't be surprising. But, I mean, actually, it technically wasn't just do doing YouTube that's motivated me to get better at art. I've also had had more requests from friends and even some from, from family now, too. And that's motivated me to get better. I mean... Here is a picture of one of the first things I did for a request. It's a self-portrait that absolutely looks nothing like me. And, uh, I wouldn't say that I hate, hate this. It's just, I, I've improved so much from this. I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just not nearly at the standards that I put myself in. I mean, look at this sketch. I mean, at first, it's already just, it's already not, not just as good as spat editor. It's... There's a lot more effort and thought put into it, thought with poses and, and concepts and stuff like that, and I am proud of how, how far I've come so far. I I don't know, if you told oh, me whenever I made that picture, I, I don't know, it was a couple years ago at least. Yeah, I think I drew that around when I met my boyfriend, so yeah, it's been around two years. If you told me that I would make that, I would be in disbelief, kind of. I am pretty proud of how far I've come so far, and I think I'm at about the point where I could do commissions and have people pay for my art. I mean, I, I don't want to be broke whenever I'm out of high school, <laughs> but I, I feel like I could uh, do that. I feel like my art's at the level to do that, and I am a bit surprised that it's at that level. I mean... I still feel kind of surprised that I'm making all this sometimes. Uh, YouTube's also helped me out with public speaking, I believe. I mean, you saw how it sounded in that first video. I mean, that, that, I know that I sounded like crap. <laughs> I mean, I still have a problem with stuttering. You can easily tell that. I mean, it's hard for me to notice it anymore, but writing's kind of just tuned it out unless it's really bad. But you, you saw how it was in that video. I, well, not only has my voice kind of changed since I've gotten, well, a year older, I just gotten a little bit better at speaking, don't quite stutter as much, though it's definitely still there. I have a feeling that, that the more that I do this and the older I get, the better it's going to get. I mean, all this YouTubing stuff has kind of helped. It's been really good practice with public speaking. YouTube has also helped me with responsibility. I mean, I kind of just forced this goal upon myself. Make it, make a video once every two weeks, but then I bumped it down to just one week because, dang, that took a lot out of my life. And I also have a lot of school and stuff to do now. It's no longer the summer, which kind of really sucks. But, yeah, I it's helped me to be more responsible with my time management skills, get get this out by the end of the week while still having time for your school, friends, supporting your friends, all that stuff. And I believe that I'm getting a lot better at managing it. Having this YouTube channel has also encouraged me to try new things. It's encouraged me to do things that I hadn't done before, like doing Scrawlbox unboxing videos. I mean, a lot has come out of that. Not only have I got had some cool supplies out of that and made some cool artworks with most of that supplies, but it I I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> uh but like drawception. I I have played drawception before, just not as much as I do now. I mean I still don't play it frequently, but it's just fun hopping back into that once in a while. I keep wanting to do that more often now. I mean, time management is the thing that you have to learn, and it's good that I'm starting to learn it now. There are also things that I want to do for content in the future, like, I want to try some other art games. I know there's, like, there's, I, bleh, I, I can English. I know there's more out there that I really want to try, and there's 
Also, some ideas that I've had, I mean, me and my boyfriend have thought about collabing before, or, like, he is really good at coming up with stories, and, and we had this idea that maybe he could make a story, I could illustrate it. I also have some other fun and dumb ideas. I mean, I want to try out animation. I mean, I have, but I want to try to do a better, like, give myself a week to try to make this as good as I can, and let's see what we get out of it. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait until the summer to do that though, so I'll have plenty more time to do it. Uh, YouTube has also helped me realize there's so much more that goes into a simple video. It's not just point, record, upload, it's... There's so much more to it, and working through that process, even if it's not nearly as much as some people and creators go through in order to make their videos, it... It's kind of eye-opening and kind of makes me appreciate YouTube videos more. Just seeing all the effort people put into them. <sighs> I had to do a lot in order to just get to recording this outro. I mean... <laughs> so that was nice, but here we are at... I don't know, sometime between noon and one, and I finished this, and it actually looks nice, don't it? Also, jeez, my hands are red from being outside, but yeah, I I like ink this, and I was kind of thinking that maybe we could do a draw this again sort of thing, where like, um, every, every sort of birthday anniversary, I could redraw this, and we could just see how I've improved over the years. You know, I kind of wish that my first video was drawing this this now so that we could see progress already. Guess we'll just have to wait though. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that my whole YouTube journey or whatever comes along much better. And I bet that next year we might be doing some new things. Might have some more people join us. Might have a bunch more things to do. There's things I want to try in the future. More drawing and art games, obviously. Probably going to be more Drawception, more Scarbox unboxings, but I want to try new stuff, too. I, I'm i still trying to figure out some of that new stuff, but I, I bet it'll be awesome. Plus, my art will improve, too. And my hands will probably still be red. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you'll stick around to see where we'll be at next year. And... Has a good day, okay? Okay. <laughs>